So I'm here with Group Vertical and we're going to demonstrate how to tear down a Galaxy S5. First you're going to want to power it off and then you're going to start taking off the back cover which is fairly easy as well as the battery takeout is also easy. After this you're going to have to take out three separate screws in order to take off the back casing. Once you do this, there is a little cover that is over a ribbon. You're going to want to take this off so you can take that ribbon off before you start taking off the screen so you don't rip it off of the motherboard. In order to take the screen off, to to loosen up the adhesive, you're going to want to use a heating gun or a hair dryer. You're going to want to do this for quite a long time because it, it's on there very good and to avoid breaking your screen. As you're doing this, you're going to want to take some guitar picks or cards, whatever you can get your hands on, start prying it off. You want to make sure you start from the top. You don't want to pry from the bottom because there are some cables connected you could rip. Once you get the screen loosened up, there's going to be a ribbon on the right side, close to the top. You're going to want to unhook that before you pull it off any further. Once you get this off, there's going to be two cables at the bottom. You're going to want to remove those. Those connect to the buttons. Once you get those removed and the screen off, you're going to have to take off 10 screws in order to get off the middle casing. Once you get those screws out, there's going to be three clips that you're going to want to pry up a little bit in order to get off the casing. This will be right where the battery was. Once you pry those up, you can press around the frame and start unclicking it. You may have to pry the, the three tongs up a little more in order to get it off completely. Once you do this, there's two screws that you're going to want to take off in order to take off the main motherboard. When you take this off, be careful at the middle end, there's a little cable that you have to unclick. You don't want to rip that off from the frame. And that is the motherboard. On this motherboard are the front and rear cameras. And there's a little ribbon that you'll have to unplug in order to take those off. Now we're going to begin putting all the parts back on, which is fairly simple. You just click on the connectors for the front and the rear camera.
When you're putting the motherboard back on, make sure not to forget about the little ribbon connector. We're also going to put these two screws back on. Now we're going to connect the bottom frame to the middle frame. And that should snap right back on. And then we're going to put those 10 screws back in their spots. Now we're going to put on the front screen and when you're putting this in don't forget about the back cable. You want to connect that before you get any further. Once you get that connected don't forget about the right middle side. You're going to want to connect that as well. Also, do not forget to put on that final ribbon cover, and then you can go ahead and snap on the back side of this phone. And once you do this, it is all complete.